QuickBooks Online 2022 OneNote Presentation Navigation Overview. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online 2022. If you have access to OneNote, would like to follow along, icon, left-hand side, topic, introduction, 1015, navigation, overview tab. Also, take a look at the immersive reader tool, the topic introductions in the text area too, with the same name, same number, but with transcripts, transcripts that can be translated into multiple languages and either listened to or read in them, same name and number as presentations as well. The topic introduction is designed to give an introduction to the topic, provide screenshots, links where applicable, give accounting back to complement the presentations and can be used to follow along with the presentations if you don't have access to the software at that time. Closing the icon on the left hand side, we're going to go through the navigation of the QuickBooks online page, noting that they typically have two views at this point. They have the business view and the accounting view. We're generally going to be looking at the accounting view here, noting that although QuickBooks Online can change where they put things at any given time as they, in essence, do A-B testing of their website to see what people prefer, they will always be using the double entry accounting system. And therefore, it's generally just a matter of finding where they adjusted something and then uh, go into that and you'll use the same double entry accounting system, generally the same forms and data input as is always the case. So the general layout is that when you do normal kind of transactions, you're going to go into the plus item or you're going to go into one of the items on the left hand side, which I would call basically the cycles. If you're doing underlying foundational stuff with your account or with the underlying foundational items, such as item lists, general ledger and the products or possibly products and services, you can go into the cog up top. And then, of course, the display screen is going to generally be in the middle. This is going to be what it looks like with regards to or in the format of the business view. It's they're testing out a really less uh, professional kind of uh, names and of tabs and whatnot. So the feel of it is more casual, I should say. It's a more casual feel as opposed to a more professional feel. And they do move some things around, but for the most part, all the same stuff is in it. It's just in a different location. The most casual language I like on this one is where they say the get paid and pay area <laughs> instead of the you know the expenses and sales. So uh, we'll toggle back and forth between the views so, so you can take a look at that. Back to the sample file. We're in the cog here up top. You've got the, the company information, your lists, your tools. Again, this is kind of like the underlying type, type of stuff that you got to set up before you really start entering the transactions. Then on the right hand side with a plus button, you've got the normal forms that actually build the actual financial statements, invoices, estimates, or estimates don't actually affect the financials, but they're used in the process, expenses, the checks, the bills, and so on and so forth. Then you've got your items on the left hand side, which I would call basically the centers breaking out in essence by cycle, sales cycle, for example, customer cycle, you could call it, or accounts receivable cycle and the information in there. And then you've got the expenses cycle, or you can call it purchases cycle, or you could call it accounts payable cycle, the vendor center in essence on the left-hand side. And you can search around the activities related to that cycle, the payroll cycle, which of course is gonna be focused around the payroll type of information in the event that you're doing payroll within the QuickBooks system. We've got the reports area. This is where all the reports will be located. The major reports being the balance sheet and the income statement, the major financial statement reports that is. You've got your taxes area to manage your taxes in the United States. That would typically be the sales tax that we would be managing uh, here in payroll taxes. And then we've got the banking information up top. And if you have the bank rules or the bank uh, feeds set up, this is going to help you out with your bank fee type of information. We'll talk about that a lot more in the second half of the course. Here's how it looks in terms of the business view. And you can kind of compare and contrast these. We'll go through presentations to, to take a look at what these items on the left hand side, how they compare to the items in the accounting view. But you can see how they kind of condensed the customer center and vendor center into basically get paid and paid. They call the accounting area the bookkeeping area here. So they're using kind of more casual language. And then here you've got the customer. This is in essence the customer center and the pay, get paid and pay area. So we got the customer center and then the vendor center kind of in that one space.